Hello community, Player IGN here. On oh, a small update video, but in the past few days, I've been working on uh, optimizing my game as well as bug testing. Now, a lot of people are probably curious um, about what they're actually buying when they're buying a skin and why that is even important. Thing is, when you're buying a skin in a video game, at least in a multiplayer player game or online game, you're not actually buying the look of their skin or you're not even actually buying the model, you're not actually buying the textures. So technically, all the files are actually on your computer anyways. All the textures, all the images, all the models are actually in your uh, in your PC. Uh, but what you're actually doing when you're buying something is you're buying the permission to post it online. So what does that mean? So for example, let's say I'm a cheater, right? And all of a sudden, I swap some hex codes so that my super boring, lo boring looking skin is now the rarest skin in the game. So in, in this example, the boring skin is this orange tint, but I'm changing it to this blue tint, which is much cooler and much more rare. Now that's a problem because uh, imagine if you could actually, if everybody else sees that, right? But that's not, not, that's not going to happen. Now let's get a better example to show you what it actually is. All of them are going to be third person. This is just for bug testing. My game is actually first person. I just add this third person functionality to the bug test and, you know, I'll be able to see the actual models. So let's say we have all three different characters all on the same cameras, all on the same uh, window screen to show you exactly what it looks like. So if I press Z, which is the cheat function to change the color of my skin or change the skin, boom, I turn blue, but on other on my other teammate screens, I'm still orange. All of these guys could be cheating, right? All of these guys could be using the same cheat. But, on the opponent screens, you're actually still the original color. But even though you can change your skin, it doesn't matter because other people still see you as the same thing. And so this is how, like, uh, cheat skins or, or skin cheats work. Uh, what they actually do is they swap the skin... Like, even though it's, a, it's the same ID, it's the same identification, what they're doing is they're swapping the texture, they're swapping the files that it's, uh, that the identification number is linked to. And so, when you're buying a skin in a multiplayer game, what you're actually buying isn't the skin itself, what you're actually buying uh, is permission to show it off on the server. And that's the interesting dynamic. Uh, because I'm thinking, man, if it's, that really is the case, I wonder if there could be a business model where you could essentially play a single player mode and have all the access to all the skins in that video game. But then there would be a multiplayer version, a multiplayer side mode, where you would have to buy permission to use that skin in the multiplayer mode, right? I wonder if that could be like the next sort of revolutionary like game changer in monetization, right? Because... Players, they don't like multiplayer games or live service games because you don't get to own like the all the all the content. But if you somehow are able to like combine the best of both worlds, be able to technically own all the skins in a single player mode, but in order to play multiplayer, you still have to buy the skins. I think that could that could actually work. That could actually have best of both worlds right there. So I wonder if that could be like an interesting business model like that I could set up for my game. Now another thing that I have set up that you may, may or may not have noticed is uh, I finally have weapon icons. That's right. So now you're able to see what base weapons and what weapons or at least like what uh, core weapons I'm basing my uh, stuff off of. Obviously assault rifle is always going to be based off of the HK416. Uh, it's just like standard rifle in every first person shooter game. Uh, DMR I'm choosing the mini. Or at least like this version of the mini with the metal frame. I just think it looks really cool. Uh, it's a mix between like modern firearm, but it, at the same time it looks kind of futuristic, but not too far fetched. Still pretty grounded. Uh, there is shotgun. This is actually based off of a Turkish shotgun. I heard it's actually pretty bad, but I don't think it'll matter because this is a video game after all. The reason why I chose this shotgun is because it's one of the only pump action shotguns that is magazine fed. Uh, what that means is reloading isn't just going to be like one round at a time. It's just going to be you dropping a magazine and popping another one. Um, then we have an SMG. I'm basing mine off of the Vector. I was deciding between Vector or FNP90. I'm actually a really big fan 
of the FNP90. Uh, but I chose the vector because it turns out that the vector has like a um, there's actually like a weight, a counterweight to balance out the recoil. And so when shooting with a real life vector, at least like based on reviews that I've watched, uh, there's actually almost zero recoil. Next thing we have is a sniper rifle. Now I was deciding between the AWM, uh, the M24, or the Car 98. Uh, the reason why I stuck with the M24 is because I thought the Car 98 was too out of a rifle. Um, it also doesn't like blend in with the rest of these modern looking guns like the metallic mini 14 the you know magazine fed shotgun or the chris vector the arm i think was too fancy um i chose the m24 because i think it's a good like in between like it's not too fancy but it's also not too old it's pretty modern now this is hard with a plus sign that's your healing ability um obviously you're gonna think of a bandage but at the moment i don't know what, what i'll do with it uh, we have four grenades. Uh, here we have a frag grenade. In my game, we're calling it a timer grenade. Uh, we're not going to call it a frag grenade. Because frags, the word frag is short for either fragment, fragments or fragmentation. But at the same time, people also say frags to not use the word kill. And so we're going to call this a timer grenade because you can actually cook it. This is a... Um, you can actually put the pin, pin back if you switch, your, switch to like a different weapon, like a knife. You can also pause it if you press R again. So you can do precise uh, timer throws. So frag grenade or timer grenade in, in my game. Also, by the way, I just upgraded my game from Unreal Engine 5.2 to Unreal Engine 5.4. So a lot of bugs has been, uh, a lot of engine bugs has been resolved. Uh, which I don't have to uh, worry about anymore. And I'm able to do a lot more stuff. So we have the flashbang here, flash, we can dodge it by turning away. There's always going to be some flash. Uh, one, thing, one thing I added today was the ability to make it so that you can't uh, ADS when you're flashed. So you notice how like my, I'm actually zooming in after the flash is gone. That's because I was already holding right click. But it, it cancelled my aim when I got flashed. Now the thing with flashbangs is that people would think that it's just like a white PNG on the screen. Which a lot of games, like a lot of indie games, they actually make the mistake of doing. Uh, the reason why that is a mistake is because anything that is texture, PNG related, um, can basically be swapped, right? Again, it's like switching textures, it's like swapping files. If I can just swap the file to like a transparent image, then the flashbang basically is useless. And so, you know, a lot of indie games do that, which is very cheatable, which is basically makes a flashbang very useless. So if I'm not using a PNG image, what am I using? Basically, it's got a po post uh, process volume. Um, basically, imagine like a, a box around your head. Uh, and I basically just like flood that box with like... Uh, white lights every time a player gets flashed so it's not a png image it's more like a vfx uh, this way it's a lot less cheatable uh, i'm not sure how secure it is obviously i'm still an amateur but it's definitely a lot more secure than just having a png on the screen all right so that's all for this video that's all for this update video see you in the next one and enjoy your day it's getting late